hello guys welcome to day two of how to design funeral book um, today we are going to learn how to design the funeral um, the page cover as you see on your screen so without my time I do let's get started very good so now as usual you go to file then you go to new this um, whole funeral uh, book, the size of the funeral book is A3. So you come to print, then you go to your A3, where is A3? Huh. So this time around, it will be in a, a landscape form. The thing is already in a portrait, so you change it to landscape form. Very good. Then the resolution can be 300 or 200. So and then you click on create very good so now i have my document here so for this book um, we are going to divide this uh, document into two equal parts yes because the book should be in an a4 form and half of a3 is a4 so we are going to design the book in such a way that after we fold it we get an a4 book very good so now you come to view then you go to um, new guide layout very good so here is how the new guide layout work so here I want to divide this page into two uh, so I'll make sure that I, I, I the column is checked here but if you want to divide the rows too you can also um, can also check the rows so for this one the rows doesn't uh, matter to me now so i will use only the column and do you want how many uh, how many do you want to divide so now here we are dividing two so if i i want to divide three you see it has divided the the page into three three equal part for you so for ours we need only two so i'll click on i'll change it to two then i'll click on okay very good so now our document is ready so this will be the uh, the front and this will be the back do you understand very good now so let's begin our design so we first deal with our background first so now i have my folders here i have my uh, cover page folder here all the project files will be under the description below so that you can download them follow along as we do so i'll use this um this background here so i'll drag and drop into my photoshop here very good so as we have our image here i want to change the orientation of this image into portrait so i'll just click you see the bounding box here i'll click the corner one then i will right click here then i will rotate it um, 90 degrees uh, anti-clockwise very good because i want this uh, lighter part to be at the left side and this deep part to be at the left side that's why i rotated um, clock, uh, counterclockwise very good i'll press on ok here i'll make sure that i will just increase i'll just um, increase the image here for it to fill the the the, the first the left part the right part sorry the right part very good so now um, i have my background here my background is ready here so let me lock my background here i'll lock it by pressing make sure that this background is later than the uh, the layer tab here then i'll press on the padlock here it will lock it very good so i've locked my background here now um i'll just I'll just bring in my the lady so this one is already in PNG file if you want to know how to to move the background of a picture I have a tutorial and that's check my tutorials you get it how to move a background using a uh, pen tool so yes so the old lady is here the late uh, grandma is here so I'll bring her very let me reduce the size of gamma here very good now
okay that's good so now um, I'll take my um, rectangular box here I will draw my rectangular box to fill this part here very good okay and I'll make sure that the color is black change the color to black yes very good so I will draw another one I'll draw another one here I will draw another one here I'll draw another one here and draw another one here this time around I will make it yellow I'll make it yellow very good oh yes I think yellow is okay yeah, so I have my yellow here so I want this same let me reduce by pressing on the shift yes I want it to be the same as this one so by pressing I want this same um, shape to be at this place down here so I'll press on um, alt on the keyboard then I'll drag and drop to make a duplicate very good so now I have my duplicate here so I'll move on to type the name of our gamma the name is Oba Oba Penini Oba Penny so you type the Oba Penny separate yes this is the Oba Penny so I think the font is the same this is the same for photography signature wow so I'll bring the about penny here about penny here then I'll change the color of the font to yellow with the help of my color picker here very good I change I will change it to yellow then I'll type the name of our grandma his name is Grace and uh, I'm prayer Bertram. very good then think the font the font I use is uh, impact yes impact is here very good so I'll make the font bigger then I'll bring it down here let me let me increase the tracking small very good then I will change the font and I think I pick a color from here yes it is the same color very good now I'll move on to uh, a aka 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 adwa joins here Yeah. okay then this one to I'll change the color to I'll change the color to aerial area that let me lock this one then I'll bring the, the name under the grace and perfume here I'll make it bigger let me choose 18 is okay yes let me increase it a bit again 24 yes then i'll change the color to color very good color right here so now it's left with the date that we are they are going to do the funeral so it's on on a saturday uh, I think 12 February 2022 20, 22. yes at uh, is it the town of Genasi very good 
now I have the I have the name here let me reduce the tracking thing to auto to zero tracking should be zero then I'll also increase the intervals yes then I also increase I'll, I'll reduce the tracking to zero here then I will also increase the intervals here very good I think um, 30 is good yes so then I think that I use this yeah no I use aerial yes I use this one aerial rounded boot very good then I'll make it smaller a bit yeah after that um, I'll put a stroke around it after that I'll put a stroke around it so I'll come to a layer tab here then I'll go to effects then I'll go to drop stroke um, stroke yes the, they change the color to color black I think it's, in, it's already in black then you change the size this size is okay for me then you click on ok I think I have spelling mistakes here February think then this one should be capital D very good very good so now let's move on to uh, the age so I'll have my cover page folder here then I'll bring this um, ribbon into my Photoshop I have to drag and drop into it's not coming so then I'll go to image and open I'll go to desktop cover page then I'll bring it here very good so now so i'll remove the white background from it i'll come to my toolbar then i'll select um, um magic eraser to here i'll click on the white then all of them will go so i'll bring it into the project here very good i'll make it i'll make it bigger So I will make it bigger here. Let me push this one to this side. Very good. I'll make this one bigger here. Yes. So now uh, I will. I can uh, elevate my age. So I will. I will select my type to then age. Age, she was 70, uh, 85 years. Very good. So let me select the 85 and I will increase the font. Very good. Then let me. I'll bring it here. I'll bring it on top of this ribbon here. Then I'll, I'll change the color to color black. I think color black is here so let me change the the interval a bit yes it's okay but i can still increase the size of the 85 here then again i will reduce the i will increase the intervals here yes I can I can also I can also decrease the decrease the age yes very good so that's nice that's nice that's nice so now we are going to type barrier um, memorial and 
times oh times giving service very good I think the interval should be auto here then I'll change the font to impact I'll change the font to impact here change the font to impact here I have to add of the lit of the lit to so let me change the um, nice one so of the lit here yes so I have um, a flower here which is still not coming in the mind drag and drop is not working but we are still going to do I'll go to find then go to open then I'll double click on it here um, I'll make sure that I choose um, because the background is different from the main subject so I'll choose the eraser magic one, magic eraser to then I'll click I'll move all the white from there then I'll bring this one into my Photoshop here my project very good now I will do the size size of, the size of it to this okay okay now um, let's move on to I'll bring this one to into my Photoshop here so let me remove this one from there we don't need it anymore another one this one too very good so we are going to remove this one so with my head of my rectangular markers to I'll click and cut very good so I'll use my magic eraser to to remove the white from it so I'll drag and drop into my photo my documents here very good so i can still make changes here the, some of the white are still here very good then i'll reduce i'll reduce the white to the white to i'll bring it here so let me bring this one down So I'll bring this one down. Very good. Then I will, with the help of my my uh, Alt key, I'll press. Then I'll drag and drop here. You no, know, make sure I select the. Yes, press the Alt key. Then you select. Very good. Very good. So now we have to uh, invert or we have to invert this image mirror it so I'll come to my um, property if you don't see your property by go to windows then search for property property they check it to come you can see this here this one is uh, the mirror and uh, flip vertically very good so now we are done here so let's move on to uh the back of this cover page now i'll use i'll take my rectangular box here very good then i'll change i'll change the color to think with the head of my i'll choose this color yes this color is okay so I'll still duplicate this one by Ctrl plus J or you can duplicate it by here duplicate layer you choose the 
the down one then you bring it to the top by the help of my top arrow key then I will change the color from here I will change the color to I think this color is okay very good then I can yes this is okay now so I have I have another um, I'll do another rectangle here this one I'll make sure that it's, it's under the and uh, under this both rectangle then I'll change that color to uh, then this color will be then this color is okay uh -huh. so then I'll bring in my uh, I'll bring in my frame to to come here I'll be sure that I remove the green background with the aid of my magic wizard to I'll remove the, the green background from it then I'll bring it to my to shop here very good let me bring it to the top I will increase it increase the size then I will press on sh um, shift then I'll make it an oval okay very 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 good so now I have the image of of uh, our gamma here so I'll go to file open then I'll go to go back then this is the pictures yeah um, the pictures here I think our mom is here yes yes so I'll bring I'll open it then as she comes I'll drag and drop here very good I'll open it I'll make sure that it fills the uh, the frame then after that I'll make sure that this uh, picture is under the frame so that it can fit in perfectly okay so after that I can use my eraser to here and then i'll make sure that my brush is zero okay then i can erase i can erase the ss1 from there i don't need it anymore so i will erase the ss1 from there very good so now um let me type my uh appreciation here uh, appreciation here appreciation here then I'll change the font to I think uh, I'll change the font to this one yes okay so a little bit um a little bit this I'll copy copy here then I'll paste this one here I'll change the color to color white and I'll change the font to Arial change the font to Arial then I'll change the 
the alignment to center aligned and I'll, I'll make the font smaller font size I think uh, then it's okay yes no. I'll bring it here I think 10 is okay yes 10 is okay then after that I will type my thank you thank you uh, I think the the size the font of the thank you is uh, I think yeah this one is so is a thank you for sympathizing with us thank you very good so now guys we are done with the cover page so this is how you can design the cover page of the book so we will continue tomorrow